Here we have the December Barra and Jacks box, and this thing is loaded. We couldn't even fit it into a box this month, so a bag it is. I already had a peek and I couldn't actually get it all back in the bag. Let's jump in and have a look. Right, so this month it's all about the big boof, the big bang, the big fish. Okay, let's crack on. Let's start off with our surface presentation brought to you this month by Chase Baits of Australia. So this one here is the Big Bobbin Frog. So this thing is super buoyant. Obviously it's gonna be a top water frog. As soon as you see it, you do see the realistic profile that it does have. So it's got the big long legs, it's got the, the double hooks on the back. Wow, a lot of real frogs don't have double hooks, but the big long legs, it's got even the little front arms hanging off of it. Profile is great. I've got here uh, the color I guess you'd call it, they call it bloody glow. So this is like a white profile, which for me is absolutely dynamite. I grew up in Ellie Beach, so the Whit Sundays chasing Barramundi up there, and we had little frogs up there. Uh, which were fairly white or pale. So we used to call them, or my brother, who was older at the time, told me that they used to call them barra frogs. So this actually mimics that perfectly. It's gonna be a great option late afternoon or early morning, chasing those early morning or late afternoon barra on the surface, or even jacks will smash this too. Being a weedless presentation means that you can get it up into the snags and into the cover. Really thick stuff is not gonna bother it but you're gonna fish this pretty slow. So once you cast it out, you're just gonna twitch it back slowly, adding in lots of pauses, cause those little legs and the big legs on the back are gonna be doing all the action for you. It's got a really good lifelike kicking action. So every twitch, the legs kick, and then spring back into the natural position, ready for the next kick. So this thing actually looks like real life little kicking frog. It's brilliant, it's so good. A lot of fun to fish with. That's the chase baits, big, Bob and Frog. All right, let's jump over to the big swim bait options we've got for you this month. We've got two soft plastic options and a big hard body option. So sticking with chase baits now, we've got the big prop duster. So this is a two segment glide bait with a little built in vibration blade into the main body. So what this does is add a little bit of extra flash and vibration as it just slowly cruises and twitches and glides through the water. Has a good weight to it so you can cast it a mile. You don't have to have a big swim bait to fish these, which is great because they're not stupidly heavy swim baits. The gliding action and the slow sink makes it great for covering all your different water depths throughout the column. You can cast it and just start the crank as soon as it hits the water and just work it top of the water column, slow it down, let it drop down a little bit further. You're good to go through that part of the water column Fish it even slower, let it hit the bottom. Just slow work, pause, slow work, pause. They're great because you can just cover everything. Now we jump over to the soft plastic options. I'm gonna start off with the Big Bite Baits BB Kicker. So these things have a huge T-tail paddle tail on the back, which means it's gonna give it a really wide tail action and a big body roll as well on the swim. Now we have included some heavy Berkley Nitro Saltwater Pro Specialist Jig Heads. These are a 3 8 5 -oh hook. So good weight so you can fish these at a high speed as well. Or you can let them sink and fish them quite deep in the water column. These will fit perfectly with these big bites. Uh, the big hook, big heavy gauge hook means you don't have to worry about straightening any of these hooks out on your big fish when you finally hit them. Now they will also fit the next plastics. These are Domeki Edge Surface Buzzing Shad. The good thing about these is that they're a fairly buoyant plastic. So you can fish these on a lighter jig head as a surface lure, just kicking and creating a bubble trail up top, just creating a nice mess. Or with a heavier hook, i.e. the uh, Nitro Saltwater Pros, you can fish these a little bit deeper. Now they are a longer, bigger profile with a slightly smaller tail. So I might be working these ones a little bit quicker than I would with the big bite baits. That essentially gives you two different paddle tail profiles to fish. And that's it for the Barra and Jacks box this month. So you've got your big chase baits, big bob and frog. You've got your hard bait, swim bait or glide bait by Chase Baits, the Chase Baits prop duster. 
you've got your two soft plastics in the big bite baits bb kicker and a damiki edge shad as well as your berkeley jig heads to go with we've also included a little tub of sax scent here so i've got the gold prawn scent Whack a little bit of that on either your hard bodies, your frog, or any of your soft plastic swim baits as well, so that's your paddle baits. And just add a little bit of scent to help you get the extra bite on a hard day's fishing. But if you wanna check out this box or any of the others in the range, just head to www.tackleclub.com.au. Have a Merry Christmas and welcome to the club. This dog is just... Gosh.